Welcome in to Zions Bank Stadium in Harriman, Utah for your state lacrosse championship Friday. We start with our 6A final. The top two seeded teams making it through the Fremont Silver Wolves. Region champs out of Region 1 taking on the top seeded Corner Canyon Chargers. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Please be joined by Brian Brown. Brian, this is a, a heck of a way to start the day. We know we're late. Weather's been in the area. We're hoping it just kind of pushes around as the day continues. But, man, we get a fantastic matchup between a team that's been here before, done that, and a newcomer in Fremont. It is a fantastic matchup, and as much as you and I are trying to huff and puff and push those storm clouds around, we've got a real storm brewing on the field between these two teams. The stalwart, the the banner carrier of, of lacrosse in the state corner canyon against the upstart firm uh, fremont here and it should be a fantastic matchup of david in a sense versus goliath we'll talk about some of the players and matchups as the game proceeds corner canyon wearing the whites fremont in the blacks as our opening faceoff underway of note in case you hadn't noticed this is our third straight fremont game we saw them in the quarters obviously the semis now the championship starting goalie will be as it's been well, this week, it's going to be the freshman, Carter Thornock, being called into duty after Sousa left that American Fork game with injury. How does a freshman stand up against this potent corner Canyon attack? We're about to find out. Brand with a shot there, and uh, looked like he tracked that pretty well. He's into the corner and backed up here by the Chargers. Yeah, and you talk about Carter Thornock. Had to step into a role that he hasn't seen a whole lot this season. He's done a great job. Also, that Fremont defense has done a great job of protecting him, but they are going to be tested yeah. by the individual ability of players like Blake Frankoviak, uh, Tyson Morimoto, and we saw just explosions from Jacob Osborne yeah. and Porter Wells in the previous game. Yeah, it, it doesn't have, like, the top-line headliners to this corner canyon offense that it had the last couple of years, but it's still effective, and you can ask Farmington, and uh, we'll get about the defense here later, but... Uh, corner Canyon here, Morimoto with a shot, a riser there, backed up here once again. You can see early on some of the nerves and things like that from Fremont here as they're trying to play aggressively and, and really keep up with that tempo that Corner Canyon is going to set all game. Frankoviak, oh, nice speed. He was trying to find one right through the lane there. Knocked around, kept here by the Chargers. This is Luke West. And if you're Corner Canyon, you've been here a every single year since lacrosse has been sanctioned and so you know what to expect there's a lot of advantage in that ability to just play cool comfortable and try and take it to Fremont early on yeah looking to be the first three Pete state champions it has not been done and so this is opportunity for corner king to, to have a, a first here in the state as well as working that down near GLE this is Muramoto Talk about the, the balance that we saw from Corn Kane in the semi. It was not just Frank Koviak, it was a number of guys. How about that setup going top shelf? And it is Blake Frank Koviak scoring the first goal of the game. That's that individual talent that we talked about. You see Frank Koviak jukes the defender, goes left hand, puts a shot in the corner. So good, so talented. Leads the team in goals and assists. You can see why maybe not as many, maybe not as deep this year for Corner Canyon, but Frank Oliex is as good as I've seen all year long. And a 67th goal here from Frank Oliex on the season. Hyatt and Bethers on the draw. Now, face off here, possessed by Fremont. That's going to be a big element to this game, is how well does Fremont get possession especially off those face-offs because corner doesn't turn it over a lot they don't and we really if you're Fremont you really want to test this corner canyon defense it's an aggressive defense led by Jack Baird and obviously Fippen and goal great job of, of playing within their system and just really getting inside of guys we thought Jack Baird do a great job in the semifinal game disrupting Mason Hepworth be hard for him to mark just one player because there are a lot of good goal scorers for this Fremont team. Yeah, there are. We, we talked about the offense for Corner King. How about for Fremont, led by Davis Surreal, 72 goals, 77 assists. And then you have Carson Isaac, Isaacson with 67 goals, Reese with 55, Barry 42, Owen Hill 28. And there's Fremont. How about that start for the Silver Warlords as you see a jump from their bench 
They answer right back. Well, it's a promising start, and you talked about it. That one through five order, so to speak. Owen Hill, Carson Isaacson, Davis Cyril, Boston Reese, Caden Berry. They can all score. They can all do it in a variety of ways. Good sign for Fremont to get that early goal. Put Simpson and David on his face. Well, I was talking with someone this week. We were talking about Fremont. I said, look, I, I like Surreal, but to me, Carson Isaacson is that guy. And I love that, you know, it's the, well, a junior. There's a lot of juniors on this roster, but a junior, Carson Isaacson, uh, with that, that first punch back there for Fremont. Yeah, and if it's not Isaacson, it can be any number of the others that we mentioned, and that's really the strength of this Fremont team. They can hit you with a variety of different scores. What really remains to be seen is can they disrupt Corner Canyon here on offense? Here's Muramoto. That was just wide. Want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we start it early, stop it late, that sort of thing. To keep it trued up with the game clock here in the stadium. Oh, nice cut right through. And that hit off the pipe. Trying to direct the traffic, but it's pretty corrupt. Wow, what a great save there, though. Bodies to the floor here. Round ball, and we'll get the call here. Nice far push of the leaves. So the Victoria fist pump from Thornock is free to make his position and turns it right back over. Baby steps to you. Corner Canyon content to slow it down a little bit here, work the offense, maybe steady those nerves. They've had a lot of good shots early on. Fremont's done a good job of withstanding it. The next step for the Fremont defense, try and dislodge some of those balls. Get them out of possession. And just keep letting Corner Canyon slowly attack you to death. Coming around, Porter Wells with a good look and a goal. We talked about, well, we didn't talk about on Wednesday we talked about what a great, uh, how aggressive he was, really looking to get this offense going and coming from X there and scoring. It's surprising he hasn't looked for his shot more all year long, and you see it right there. He has that ability, that burst hit by the defender. To run along like that, it's so hard for the goalies to get over and stop those shots. So much open space, great angles, great attack from Porter Wells. Face off here. Corner. Right spot at the right time. A little bit of room. Osborne going top shelf. It's 3-1 corner canyon. So efficient. They're so good off the ground balls. And you see that. Osborne knows exactly where to go. Takes it to the net. Top shelf. 3-1 corner canyon. Boy, and we talk about initiation and being aggressive. And no one was going to stop Jacob Wells. How about the speed right there down the lane for Osborne as he scored it? And that's such a difficult thing for this Corner Canyon team, right? They seem like they're a defensive juggernaut, but there's a lot of offensive firepower. we really got to stay focused. Face-off win here for the sophomore Easton Danes. No one stopping him. Down shot and scoring, and it's all Corner Canyon. A three Oh, run for the Chargers. You see, just right down the pipe. Fremont freezing there defensively allows him to go straight at the goalie. There's just so much space there. Miscommunication for Fremont leads to another Corner Canyon goal. You cannot give these Chargers those kinds of opportunities. They will capitalize. Yeah, we saw Corner Canyon earlier. I know you saw them against Park City. When we saw them against Olympus, faceoff was an area that Olympus dominated, but boy, in that semi, they were much stronger. Beathers, Danes, and that time it's Danes with the win and, and getting the goal, and he's got another win here. They've really solidified that spot with Beathers returning and, and, and the foundation, or uh, I can't think of the word, but, but that, that has brought to the spot for the Chargers. Yeah, it's really solidified a weakness for them, right? And as you see the turnover there, just update for those watching at home we are using the red lines here on the field so you can see on that far end a little bit difficult to uh see the like the player step down as this one rolls out of bounds as well and you can see there i mean thornock kind of looked back thinking there was going to be help there there wasn't that bounce shot 
high over as Boy Osborne took a hit as he was releasing. Yeah, he did, and came in, coming in at an angle, slipped a little bit there. We have seen a lot of moisture today, Dane. Part of the reason for the delay, but no delay there on that goal. Lincoln Hanks. Luke West. Excuse me, Luke West. Yeah, number five, Luke West scoring. That's five Charger goals from five different players here in the opening minutes, first half of this first quarter. This is not the kind of start that Fremont was hoping for. And you cannot give this Corner Canyon team a massive lead. They're so good defensively, but really what it comes down to is that team component that they're playing with right now. Early on in the season, felt like it was a lot more from Koliak trying to do all the hard stuff. Right another face-off win, working. Oh, that was just wide. A good look there for West. Yeah, another great look, right? And, and off the 1-2-3 pitch, or passing. Wrapped around. And Fremont closer to, it does speak to just how important those face-offs are, because Fremont... The goal came off a face-off win, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. But it has been dominated from the spot by the Chargers. And uh, that has led to domination on the scoreboard. There's a little 10-man there. Going out trying to be aggressive, but Fippen plays it so well. Uh-oh! Osborne with his second of the game. So many components to this game that matter. Face-offs, clears. And you can see Corner Canyon intercepts the pass. It's exactly where to go with it. Great pass by Fippen to initiate the break. And just another beautiful goal as Fremont takes a timeout here, Dane. Yeah, timeout, Fremont. Corner Canyon looking like the top seed. They lead Fremont 6-1. to one. Boy, what a start Simpsons from Corner Canyon. Facing off. And, you know, it's interesting because you look at these two offenses coming in. Far more goals on the year for Fremont, but uh, played everyone in Region 1 twice. Not a lot of non-region experience for the Silver Wolves, although they had, had to go through the Region 4 teams here in the playoffs. Matched up against PG and Westlake, winning both those two games was interested to see how they match up today and you know, if you don't have a lot of possession then it's hard to get those elite goal scorers for Fremont space and opportunities and that's been the story of the opening minutes here Brian. Yeah it's been all about keep away you see right there oh, wait for it. oh yeah I didn't even see that ball go in I don't know the Thornock did he kind of look around like is that it? It is that might be the sneakiest goal I've seen all year, Dane Prekowiak with the worm burner. What's in the back of the net? Six, seven goals here in the first quarter. It's like you said, just keeping the ball away from Fremont has been the best defense Corner Canyon's had. I was uh, talking with uh, someone around the corner program. And uh, they said, man, we're, we're peaking at the right time. And it sure looks that way. Down shot there came off high. It is backed up here by the Chargers. A better job there by Fremont of cutting off the attack. Stop the ball. Make them make the pass or make a shot that's difficult, right? I think things have been just too easy. And Corner Canyon is too good anyways. You give them that much open space, they're going to make you pay. A little bit of room here for Becerra, playing that to GLE, now back with Frankoviak. You know, the other element here, too, is remember Fremont had to go double overtime in that semifinal. Oh, my goodness. That one is a goal just snuck under the crossbar. How about the look for Becerra as he gets in on the action here in this first quarter? Dueling sneaky goals there as you see Becerra slow plays the goalie. Quick little flick puts it in the back. 
right next to the crossbar. And it is an absolute show right now for Corner Canyon. Simpson and Danes facing off. Let's see, this team is just executing at such a high level. We saw that hit on Wednesday as they dominated against Farmington. Coming off the face off, pushed ahead, Fremont trying to get it. And the whistle there will give it to the Silver Wolves. And that massive lead right now allows Corner Canyon to do things like push here and really pressure. Not deflected, Fremont couldn't come away with it. It's Frank Kobiak instead. Everything going right for Corner Canyon right now. If you're Corner Canyon, the ball's in the stick of your main player in Frank Kowiak as he dishes over here to Muramoto. They've really done a good job here in these isolation situations, getting Fremont away from playing that team defense. And it's struggled to slide. Kyson with the shot and the save made there by Thornock, and he's looking for that quick outlet. Fremont wanted to push. This is what they like to do. Get out, run, try to utilize space to create opportunities for all that Silver Wolf offense. Is here's Isaacson has the lone goal for Fremont in this first quarter. This how great a job Corner Canyon does of shutting down that attack, right? So disciplined, they play so well. Long sticks are so talented here. Barry, eyes up, sends that out. Extra pass, Isaacson. Pretty strong wind here, blown away from you, kind of a, a bottom left to top right-ish. That one, uh, flag here, we get our first man up opportunity. It'll be a hold, 30 second technical Chargers penalty number three for Fremont here. Grand. 30 seconds for tripping. Silverwolves on the man advantage. We've seen Fremont be pretty efficient when man up. The last couple games, they, they desperately need a goal to get some momentum back on their side. It's a team that, like you said, loves to play with pace. The best way to get that pace accelerated is to score a goal. See Broman being aggressive there defensively. Kind of use that pressure to help Keep this out of shooting lanes, working around. Skip down. Very thought about it. Goes back with Isaacs in. Corner Canyon back to even strength. Just a great job by Corner Canyon. They're sliding into lanes, filling their replacement. Team Team's back to equal strength. Player down. Yeah, they, they need to start taking some chances here. Yeah, they don't get a shot away. Defense. Defense. And now, Broken. Uh, sent out. And over and back here. Corner will have it. That corner D showing it's just as talented as the headlining offense here. So what we thought might be the case, right? And we see Davis Surreal down there near the goal. Didn't quite want to pull the trigger on it for whatever reason. Passes two out. Remaining, two and up with an over and back. And now Corner Canyon gets the possession. You gotta really attack if you're Farmington right now. And, and on the flip side of it, Corner Canyon can do whatever they want with yeah. this seven goal lead. Inside of two to play here, opening quarter. Wells working to Muramoto. There's so much motion from this offense for Corner Canyon. Great job of getting guys moving around and isolating their attackers on defenders. Frankoviak working. And that one deflected on its path. Thornock. Able to handle it. Oh, off the bounce. Just maybe took a, a high hop there. Wasn't expected there by Fremont. What is a turf field? The last couple games we've seen have been on turf fields, but every turf field can behave differently. Yeah. Sometimes those balls take a different bounce than what you're used to. Right now, Farmington, or Fremont's turn to adjust to everything. I apologize. This is not Farmington. This is Fremont. Although the way corners playing is playing like they are playing Farmington. This is kind of how that game started. It's just they didn't concede a goal. 
I think it was 7-0 in that first quarter against Farmington. If you're Fremont, you know, this is a team that we've seen come back before. We saw American Folk go up early on them. They fought back. You have to believe, especially being that it is the state championships, he's still competing. Good whack there by Fon Reiner, but picked up here by the Chargers. 30 seconds left in the opening period. Koviak from X. It's been great from that spot today. Sends to Muramoto. Just missed it. Backed up here. So he's so willing to distribute right now and attack from that perimeter. And when we talk about Blake, you know, 67 goals now. 55 assists coming into this one. Very balanced in terms of how he helps this Charger offense, be it on the shot or be it looking for his guys. 10, 9, Final eight, seconds here of the seven, first quarter. Frankoviak sending. Five, Wells, the bounce shot and the goal. Porter Wells with his second goal of the first. It's 9-1, Chargers. Porter Wells with an absolute rocket through the net there. You said they in the bounce shot. Artful angle. 9-1, Corner Canyon. What a start for this Charger team. Just four I seconds left. Odd procedure there. Going to give it to Corner Canyon. We'll see if they have enough time. Three, Beathers two, to start. He'll have one. to leap this. Don't Osborne. Boy, did that count. Yes, it did. Jacob Osborne with the buzzer beater to close out the first, a dominating first quarter in the state championships owned by the Chargers. You're watching the 6A final on kslsports.com. start the second quarter 10-1 corner canyon wow what a start to this Simpson state championship Dane game Dane Stewart, on. Brian Brown with you Jacob Osborne already has a hat trick Porter Wells and Frank Koviak with two goals apiece Danes Becerra and West your other goal scorers for the Chargers as they have come in and and looked uh, mighty impressive as Fremont here with a rare possession they bring it up Cross midfield entering in into the offensive area. Brian, if you're Fremont, not a lot has gone right. What do you try to do to claw back in what has been a overwhelming deficit created here by Corner? They're off to a good start here as they're maintaining possession on the offensive side. Now you've really got to work, try and get some good shots, stay active, stay moving. Give your defense a chance to catch a breath. Isaacson coming around. And Fremont back on it. Oh, there's a good answer. It was an initial save there by Fippen, but how about the uh, stick to Boston Reese Boston finding Reese. that and Davis throwing it on frame and scoring. Well, what a track down by Davis Surreal there as he scoops up the ball and then immediately finds Boston Reese. One times it. Go low. Little John used to say get low. Not Boston Reese. He says go low. That's a goal. Oh, for Fremont. We had to a face-off. Man, it's a... Uh, how about a couple face-off wins here? That's just, ooh. Yeah, gonna get the call there. See, that's the other part about it. Is things have not really tilted in favor of Fremont. Every time there's been a stumble or a ball go loose, you start getting some things to go your way. It's not an insurmountable lead by any stretch for Fremont. This is a team that averages... A ton of goals. It was 15 goals per game before that semi. Mm -hmm. And uh, it would have gone up after that, seeing as how they got to 17. 
probably right around high 15, low 16 in terms of that goals score is the call here. The push called. Corner Canyon penalty, number 16, Rick King, 30 seconds for push. Fremont on the man advantage. If you look at the goals by quarter average, Corner Canyon's almost up to five goals in the first. Fremont is a team that usually scores three and then starts to turn it on there in the second. Let's see if they're able to continue that trend. Bring that lean back. Bring that lead back in. Beathers called for the infraction. He's serving time here. Corner's already killed off one man down, looking to do it for a second time. And a little bit of room there for Reese, but that pass off target. Captured here still for Fremont by Isaacson. To equal strength. And corner once again kills it off. Couple 30 second technicals, no damage done. Testament to how good that Corner Canyon defensive front is. We talk a lot about Baird. That's an impressive group. Ten up here with Barry Caden. Looking for something. Another long pull D there of Harden. Nice work. is just really giving it to Davis real there. I mean, it's so hard for Fremont right now. Everything's outside. I mean, they, they just, there's no penetration here. No space. Nope. Little seam on that one. Checked out before it could be thrown on frame. Fremont bench there thought there could have been a whistle, should have been a whistle. Official right there shaking his head. Nope. That was a clean play. That corner can you D continue to lock it down. Barry just had to go through so much of the defense there, and it's stick on stick on stick. By the time you get to the goalie, there's just not a lot of power left. Easy for Fippen to get the save. And the call there, was that offside? I didn't see it, didn't see an indication. My apologies. Fortuitous break. Well, that's, a, that's a tough pass. That one's trying to be forced a little bit and intercepted there by corner, but ran out. It was a good play there initially by the Chargers, but just couldn't hold that. If you're Fremont, this is a great opportunity to capitalize off a corner canyon turnover. Right? And this is where they really need to get some action going. Anything they can do to create space, and we've seen in games past, They've been able to adjust how they attack and do that. I haven't seen anything so far. Sui Sui working this. Back at X now with Isaacson. Oh, good ball movement, but couldn't find Hill. A couple of chargers there to make that play a little more challenging. Sui Sui working back here again. Cyril. Straight away, Reese thought about it, taking the shot that high and backed up here. Now they're starting to find the rhythm, right? You've got a little one-two action going with Cyril and Isaacson here, allowing Davis Cyril some space to operate in, and then he can distribute to his teammates. He's a guy that's got 77 assists on the season, so it's not like he's uncomfortable doing that. This one trickling out, kept in. Good chase down there by Masui Sui. Good possession so far for Fremont. There's Jordan Hill with it. Isaacson. Winding up, firing and scoring. Carson Isaacson, his second goal of the game. Nice work there for Carson. Carson Sometimes Isaacson. you have to have those moments, Dane, where you just take something over. Or Isaac, or Carson Isaacson sees the defense sleeping just a little bit, finds that open crease, powers it in the back of the net. Great, great counter for Fremont. And that was a great possession. And now they have to do that six more times. <laughs> yeah. At, you know, I mean, we've got seven plus minutes left here. Fremont's been able to 
own possession. Corner hasn't really been able to get in their offense in this second quarter and see if that can maybe help the Silver Wolves to get back in this as Russell here and that will give it to Fremont. Those are the bounces and the breaks that really didn't go the Silver Wolves' way in the first quarter. You're seeing as they're starting to go in their direction. A little bit of room and a shot and a goal for the Silver Wolves. My goodness, Evan Clark, the long pole, able to score it. Well, I had to put a hand up for that one. Evan Clark, great work. That's my first long stick goal today. So excited. Love to see that action. But again, it's all about pressing off the face-off. Evan Clark, great shot, great angle. Another quick goal for Fremont. 10-4 to 4 here, Dane. We've talked about uh, momentum of lacrosse. I feel like there's, there's not a sport where momentum swings so quickly as lacrosse. Feathers with a nice uh, face-off win. And then how about right in front of the crease there? Going to be called for the violation. The shot was missed anyway, but boy, a great opportunity. And right now, Luke West, he's hobbling a little bit here. Yeah, he really took the brunt on that one. And you love the effort by Luke West. Again, those red lines, sometimes hard to see near the crease. He's the price for it, but it was a much better start for Corner Canyon there off the face. And the liner was looking ahead. It was gathered by Isaacson. see how pesky this Corner Canyon defense is. Fremont's a team that really does a good job of securing the ball. More than a few bobbles here today. Austin. Doing this with Barry. Approaching the midway point here in this first half. Or second quarter. Not this hard on a Friday evening. Over with Hill, good defense there by Brand. Reese trying to work, GLE cutting back inside, and that backhanded shot just off and closest to was corner. I like the effort from Reese. Now you just need to see some effort from his teammates to watch what he's doing and get behind there, right? So you can maintain that possession. You have to get shots. Shots matter. It, it, over time, defenses wear down, goalies wear down, the shots will start to find a home. Be there prepared to maintain the possession. And Muramoto. And this will here, I think we've got a timeout being taken. Yes, we do. Timeout, Chargers. Fremont showing, hey, this one not done Time yet. Nice push here to start this second quarter. You're watching the 6A state title game on kslsports.com. Canyon here to start it. 520 left here, second quarter. Chargers haven't had a lot of looks in this second period, but let's see if they can create something here. That ball movement in the first was quick, and man, it created a lot of looks that they were able to score off of. I haven't seen a lot of possession here for Corner Canyon in the second quarter so far, Dane. One goal could just be the tipping point again for another run. I mean, Fremont needs to stay disciplined. Back up here with Wells. So the wind's starting to pick up again. Porter. Nice slide there. He was looking for that lane. Ramoto had some room there. Kyson back inside shot and a save. Boy, a big save there by Thornock on what looked to be a great opportunity for Kyson. Oh, and we had a, a whistle here. The official thought he heard a timeout. 
And I think he's got a, I think he's got a granite here. A timeout time here. By Fremont. Fremont using their last the here in the half. The Utah High School Activities Association. Download the McDonald's app today. Welcome back. Man, we just got a treat. I'm telling you, Cash Valley salt of the earth. Uh, we'll get to that later. Fremont coming in. And, uh, boy, they turn that over. Not the way you want to uh, come out of your last timeout of the half. Yeah, and, and a little bit of a confusion with that timeout. Thought that Fremont had started to get a break going. Not sure what was set down on the field. We are removed and, and a bit isolated here in the booth. But, again, Fremont just has to capitalize on those situations as much as possible. As you see, Osborne missed there on the shot, and now Fremont will have an opportunity to push. This is where they've been very successful so far in getting some goals, Dane. Rolling off, that was Kenny Olsen. Couldn't keep it. But how about Fremont? Uh, we're still trading possessions here. And it will be with Fremont. A, that's a fight that you don't necessarily want to get into with Corner Canyon. It is a athletic, physical team. They play hard. They play disciplined. If you're Fremont, you can't afford to give up too many of those ground balls. Tim Wilson just got himself in a little bit of trouble there trying to do too much. Arena's kind of trickling on and off here. From Mother Nature and from Corner Canyon. Porter Wells with the hat trick as he scores his third. The no doubter from Porter Wells. You see that defense not able to slide over in front. Do not envy anyone standing in front of one of Porter Wells' shots as they go flying through the air. And that one finds the bat, finds a home in the back of the net. You know, uh, Porter Wells is so good in the semi. Three goals here in this first half of the championship. That's a senior who wants to end his career with another ring. And he has been fantastic this week, championship week for the Chargers. Yeah, another one who's done a great job is Easton Danes. He's really been dynamite for them. Just a sophomore. He's contributed in a major way. Osborne there, the rising shot taken away by Thornaku. Feels like he's starting to settle in. Freshman, I mean his first, well I don't know about his first start, but started the semi and now starting the championship. And he's getting some real good experience here going up against this Charger offense. And you see him feeling more comfortable. That was a nice save from close. Yeah, early on in the game, he was getting into some of his teammates, making sure they were rotating and sliding properly. I think it's jolted that defense awake a little bit. Farmington, uh, Fremont, I apologize. Fremont has settled in nicely here in the second quarter. That early storm from Corner Canyon, tough to overcome. Fremont. Nice little spin there right in front. And Hill, that one did that drink off. Oh, a great look for Owen Hill. He had the game winner in overtime, and that one just missed. Yeah, just right off the inside of the crossbar there. The pipe, I should say. Wrapping around, that one shot and backed up. Two good shots right in a row, though, for Farmington. And you maintain possession. Keep at it. Keep rolling that boat, chopping that wood. Keep delivering the cheese curd. There it is. There it is. Yeah, we got curds in the booth. My day is made. Ha. Ah. Tell ya. Cash Valley. Of course, we got fans for the 4A championship. That'll be our next one. And uh, I don't know what time, because time's got all off, all messed <laughs> up with weather delays today. But uh, we're taking care of the cheese, so we're all good. Please. Fremont here still in the offensive possession. That one couldn't be handled. And Corner Canyon now with a run out. A lot of room here for Ashton Free. They've got numbers here. This is a dangerous, ooh, dangerous situation. And uncharacteristic bobble there. Corner Canyon, they're going to take a timeout. Yeah, final minute timeout here. The Chargers wanting to get a look here to close out the first half. 11-4. Corner with the lead in the 6A state championship. Canyon possession coming out of their final timeout. Brian, uh, who are you looking for here if you're the Chargers? 
Well, it's been a variety of hot hands, but I think Porter Wells is who I'm going with. Last goal scored. I see him out here on the wing. Getting the ball there. Rain coming down here, a little bit more. Frank Koviak from X. Nice job there by Fremont working the angles. Frank Koviak so hard to defend because he's so crafty. Good job on the help defense there, too. Yeah, that time almost tried to be forced right in front of the crease as this ball rolling out. Corner, it's Porter Wells securing 20, 20 seconds left here in the half. Look to Muramoto. Tyson got around the shot right over the ear hole there. Corner Canyon scoring with 10 to go to push the lead back to eight. What I love most about that goal from Tyson Muramoto. Defenders trying to get into his thick head right at the right spot. She's getting into the net, finds the open space. No doubter. Goal number 12 for Corner Canyon. They scored with no time left in the first. Scored with 10 seconds left in the second. Late goals for the Chargers. A lot of momentum. Big difference yeah. there. Nine. Eight, Countdown seven, on. Another face-off win. Beathers five, looking wide. Wind four, up. And that three, just five, wide on the look for Osborne. Boy, did not miss that by much. Corner, maybe one more look. Frankoviak starting two, right in front of the rim for one, Osborne. That deflected, zeros. and that will do it. We've hit halftime. Good That's push by half. Fremont in the second quarter. But it's still Corner Canyon out in front. 12-4, to four, the Chargers leading at the break in the 6A state championship. Welcome back. Getting ready to start the second half. Boy, what a half it was for Corner Canyon. Got out to a 10-1 advantage. Corner push there from Fremont to, well, through that second quarter. 12-4, the score here at the break. Dane Stewart, Brian Brown with you. Brian, boy, thoughts on the first half and uh, maybe what you expect to see here in half number two. More of the same, I think, if you're Corner Canyon, right? Controlling possession and, and trying to score more goals. Widening this lead. You really don't want to let Fremont back into this one. And this is a team with Fremont that's shown they can score on Corner Canyon's defense. You know, it's uh, it's interesting because we talk about momentum and um, boy, just how critical faceoffs have been today. Mm -hmm. You know, when Fremont puts together that little run, they're winning faceoffs. And, you know, it's good to see Thornock, the freshman, made some nice saves in that second quarter. Not that, you know, Corner didn't pepper the shots in the second quarter like they did the first. But, uh, you know, the, the couple looks they did have, yeah, they, they scored, you know, a pair of goals. But he shut down another three or four that uh, were good looks for the Chargers. They were, and the, and the Chargers have gotten some good looks taken away later in the second quarter there by this Fremont defense. They started to kind of get a feel for what, Corner Canyon was doing. Flags. Two flags. Yeah, flags, flags here. And so uh, Corner going to play this out, but they'll have a chance to go man up for the first time today. Frank Koviak. Muramoto looking for Wells. That pass a little tall for Ankoviak, trying to keep it, cannot. And uh, with the flip here, and now the possession will get the stoppage and we'll get the enforcement here of the flag. The good news for Farm for Fort Fremont. Oh my goodness, I'll stop making that mistake at some point, and I promise. The good news for Fremont, you've got possession. The bad news, you're down one player. Slash the call there. And so one Fremont minute man up opportunity Camp here Jenkins. for Corner Canyon. One minute for Slash. Corner We're talking Canyon about momentum. Man man. And uh, a kill here from Fremont would go a long ways towards helping them get that confidence they started to find a little bit in that second quarter. And my mistake on that. Corner Canyon actually will maintain the possession. If you're Fremont, you want to get this killed as quickly as possible. Looked around here. Where they had slid west, just couldn't get it through to him. Frank Kobiak. 
with the rocket through the D into the back of the net. It's 13-4. He said he wanted to get it killed quickly. Blake Frankowiak must have us on the earbuds out there. He decides to end that one. One timer. Great shot there from Blake. 13 to 4 Corner Canyon just finding ways all over the field to get the job done. Nice face off and others. The hold there will uh, give it to Fremont. I'm trying to kind of clear that out a little bit. And here's Isaacson. Pair of goals today for Carson. So I might have success early on in this game doing some one-two action with Isaacson and Davis Sorrell. See if they go back to that a little bit as Sorrell works with X. Cyril. There's Reese. You see the long pull there. Perry jarring it loose. Oh, and the call there will keep it here with the Silver Wolves. You see just how relentless that Corner Canyon defense is. Great job there by William Perry. Knocking the ball loose, staying competitive throughout it. If you're a coach, you can live with that kind of call because you love seeing the competitiveness from your players. So a little juke there by Reese. The man has options. You can go play at the next level and have a chance to room up with a, a former region rival. It'd be a fun experience, no doubt. Wrap around here and that one. Could not be finished by Barry, but backed up here for Fremont. I like the attack from Caden Barry. Come from the left-hand side, try and find a little open space there. Goes for the near bar. Just not able to squeeze it in there. But nevertheless, Fremont maintaining possession here. That's a good sign for the Silver Wolves. Great year for Fremont, your Region 1 champs. 18 and 3 on the year, 13 and 1 in Region. And they're so young. We'll talk about that as the game proceeds, but a lot of their top players are juniors. And Reese, one of the few seniors, and that shot just wide, actually ringed off, I think, and ended up wide as Isaac's, Isaacson able to recover here. Like the attack. Paul Reese able to hang around to Fippen with the save. See right now, Fremont coming work so hard. By the time you get to the goal, there's not a lot of effort left to be crafty. Ashton Free handing off. Osborne right in front. Fran Kobiak with the deke and the score. What a beautiful fake there by Blake Frank Kobiak. Great job at Corner Canyon on the break. Staying with it, rotating. Finding open slots. Blake's automatic there. The goal. Fourth goal of the game for Blake Franzoviak. That's his 70th of the season. So good. What a great fake there. Simpson and Danes facing off. You see how quickly corner can strike. You know, last couple of years get so accustomed to you know, D1 town and John King and Mason Quick and others. Easton Danes ringing it off the post there. But look, they still have that same speed and athleticism and quickness as a crease violation here. We'll give it back to Fremont. What a job Coach Ika has done here with this Charger program. Just the two losses on the year to Cherry Creek and Olympus. And I have a feeling they would like another attempt at Olympus. That game got sideways from them. That does not happen very often. But you talk about a team that has responded coming off a loss, and that's exactly what this corner group has done. Been nearly flawless since that point. Two teams that have really, since that matchup, really improved 
over the course of the year, despite Olympus dropping one at Brighton, he lost the year for the Titans. They look tough too. They'll have a chance at a little championship redemption later tonight. 5A championship, our last game of the night. Is Barry. Just watching the corner canyon defense push them away from the spots and getting deeper and deeper into the corners of the field. It's so hard right now for Fremont to do what they want. Isaacson trying to get that inside and just trying to fight off the check there. Bound shot, Fippen. Lots. Maybe one of his better saves of the game. Great save there by Fippen. His defense fell apart a little bit. Pass a little tall. That's what teammates are for. Frank Kobiak. And we'll track that down, keep it here. What a surprise that he's the man on the spot to pick that one up, right? <laughs> yeah. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> Here's Anderson. Oh, that pass gets past Osborne. Rare turnover for Corner King. And you think about what we've seen from the Chargers this week. We'll call it championship week. We have seen in the final. They have not had a lot of unforced errors. They've been able to take advantage of unforced errors just like that. We'll see if they can do it here. But they've played a, a really clean week, Brian, of, of lacrosse. They have, and I think that semifinal game was one of the cleanest games I've seen from a team so far. A few bumps here. But really, they got out such an early lead. They haven't had to stay on task as much. Well, next, Frank Kowiak. Wanted to dump that off. He was there. Porter Wells with it now. This is the hard part. When you get a 10 goal lead like that, staying focused. Keep Wells, the lane. Shot it high. If you're Wells, that's a great shot. We've seen yeah. him connect on those all game long, all season long, even. When you have that space. I like the idea there. Mary had Dawson Anderson and was going to be able to win that back. Tanner Oldroyd, we haven't called his name a ton. Been a great contributor to this team. I just want him to go look for your own shot there. So close to the net. Osborne, future Ute up on the hill. Committed to go play at Utah. A little turnaround. Muramoto with the goal. Boy, he set that up so well, Brian. He gets two Fremont defenders to get lean in one way. Cuts back against the grain. He's so precise with that shot. Great goal from Kaisen Muramoto. 20th goal on the year for the junior. Pushing it to an 11 goal difference. Hyatt and Bender is facing off. Back-to-back -back games at Corner Canyon has put up 15 goals in elimination games. Really impressive game. Like you mentioned earlier in the broadcast, this is a team that is peaking at the perfect time. All room here. Gavin Lee coming in and Fippen able to fight that off. Boy, a good opportunity there backed up here. It almost looked like Gavin Lee was surprised by how open he was there. Getting the faceoff win. Very, very rare you catch Corner Canyon that far off their spots. Yeah. They'd love to capitalize on a goal, but nevertheless, Fremont maintains possession. Yeah, if you want upset bids, those are the kind of plays you got to take advantage of. Barry. Really for Fremont here. They need to start getting some things going. Oh, wrapped around and Carson Cyril able to score it. His first goal of the game, a rocket from the junior. 
Well, just a nice little sneaker into the net there. Caught me off guard, caught you off guard. It's a good goal. Try and chip into this lead a little bit for Fremont. They've got to pick up the pace in terms of getting shots on goal because the clock is not their friend at this point. Simpson and Danes facing you, know, you can think about um, you know, that game against American Fork. It was tough for Fremont to find that rhythm. They finally started to get it in the second half. Davis had kind of had it early and then had to try to find it late after Davis made a, a late charge. And neither of those were they down 10. I mean, this is a much different task for the Silver Wolves here in this final. Sarah. Play back, Oldroyd. Kobiak, one of the seniors here on Corner Canyons. We're inside the final two. Is that out? It's just how much quickness Corner Canyon has as a team. Yeah. Well, and the ball just moves, mm -hmm. right? You see a lot of teams where there's a little bit of stagnation, both without the ball and with it. But boy, that's not been the case today. It's been move, 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 move. Just a touch behind the reach of the Sarah. That corner back on it. Osborne with it. Jacob working through. Oh boy, that one caught up in the body. It would have been a crease violation, but that would have been a heck of a save there by Thornock Anywho. <laughs> Usually Osborne's automatic on those. Fremont, doing a nice job to get the ball back and get him to attack. Final minute. Hill playing that with Barry as Fremont looking to set up. So that slide coming over from Broman. And it has been such an incredible, incredible job by this Corner Canyon defense as a unit. The last time we saw Jack Bear just completely shut down Mason Hepworth. But they've been so in sync throughout the course of this game. Well, that time he was matched up on Cyril. And you can see not much room there for Davis to work. Back to X here, final 15 seconds. Sent wide, Barry, the windup. That hits off the Ten, post. Nine, eight, seven. Six, Kept five, here, touched, four, and that three, will do it. Two, Third quarter one, in the books, and Corner Canyon with a 10-goal lead as we head to the fourth and, and final frame. Six Eastern Championship live on KSL Sports. Okay. Start of the fourth quarter. Ten five corner canyon. Dean Stewart, Brian Brown with you. Face off win. Osborne was trying to get that to Oldroyd. Fremont closest two. They'll have it. How out of sync Fremont's been all game long with a play like that. Quick start. Oh, and that one leapt out of the stick of Old Roy before he could get it on frame. And a call here. And a hold, I believe, will bring this back for corner. It's a good break for Corner Canyon. Unfortunately for Fremont, they had a fast break going. Just a 
Those unforced errors. Yeah. A couple to start this fourth quarter. Let's see with Fremont right now. This is a team that's really, really had to fight to stay with Corner King and the fatigue starting to settle in with those kinds of mistakes. I'm trying to conserve some energy here with a little bit of a matchup zone style defense. Trying to keep everything outside. Wells working here to the angle. Muramoto. Gets past the initial defender. Another goal here for Tyson Muramoto. He gets his third, yeah, hat trick here for Tyson in the championship. Yeah, a few corner can, you know, attack here with the hat trick, but Tyson Muramoto, some of the more crafty goals that we've seen so far today. Just a great job there with the fake precision accuracy. Strong finish for Muramoto. Just a junior. Yeah. If things keep trending in this direction. He may be in line to get four state titles. That'd be crazy. Controlled by Fremont. Kept here by Cyril. And we talk about Farmington, Region 1 champs. Region 1 was so good this year. Farmington, Davis, Fremont, top three teams out of Region 1, all making it to the semis. Of course, that epic semifinal. We haven't really talked about that, but... You, know, you talk about uh, playmakers and bright futures, and for Fremont, it's seemingly everyone. You talk about all the juniors, of course, without the regular season starting goalie, Riley Souza, the sophomore, left that American Fort game with an injury. He's here today, but wearing a sling. His season done, and Carter Thornock thrown into action in a quarter against your defending runner-up in American Fork and able to get that win, and then they go take on Davis, get that win, like, what a run from Fremont in the playoffs and Youngster stepping up to help elevate the Silver Wolves to the state championship game. Like you said, Dane, it's a group of youngsters, that despite some of the seniors who will be leaving, can carry this tradition forward. And for these upstart programs, so to speak, where you're building from, from the beginning, such a critical experience to come here and see what it looks like, to feel it, to know what you have to do in order to compete. Oh, nice little back check there and the call. You know, and that's the thing we talked about in the semi a little bit is that um, Region 1, the only 6A region to play region opponents twice. And so they don't get a lot of non-region games kind of that corner on a quick run and a score. Lincoln Hanks scoring it for his first time today. I can't believe it, Dane. We've got two long stick goals. Lincoln Hanks, he wanted that one so bad at the end of the third quarter. Gets it here in the fourth. And it is all Corner Canyon with 8.48 left. And that's where you, know, you talk about what it looks like. You get to this game, you, you get a play corner, a match of the, you know, non-region schedule. You don't have a lot of opportunities for, for non-region games. And uh, you get a chance to see what it takes to be a state champion. And with all the talent they have returning, yeah, you could very easily see Fremont in a scenario making a deep run again next year. And now having played against it, I kind of know what to expect. I mean, you'd think they would love to have that first quarterback where they trailed 10 to 1. I mean, that just set the tone early. They haven't been able to come back from it. And we talked about just the the level at which you have to compete and minimize mistakes in order to hang with these top tier programs and corner canyon knows how hard you have to practice every day how competitive you have to be the precision with which you have to play the little things like backing up balls backing up teammates corner is trying to make a change at goal the other goalie was clear at the other end line fippen standing it the middle just kind of waiting for the sub as this backed up here by corner but 
Pippen going to come off, get a warm welcome from his teammate and his coach as coming in is going to be the freshman Rhett King between the pipes for the Chargers. And meanwhile, Corner Canyon working on the attack here. Oh, how about a youngster scoring? It's the sophomore Brock Sorensen with the goal and a beautiful assist there from Frank Kobiak. You can see the system at play there, working the ball around. Sorensen knows where to be. Sorts of contact, still puts the goal in the back of the net. Great job by him to see the excitement, the celebration already starting a little bit there on the Corner Canyon sideline. This one has gotten very, very heavily in the favor of the Chargers. Yeah, timeout here for Fremont. 18-5, Corner Canyon en route to their third state championship. clock scenario here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, pass from Cyril and Tim for Isaacson, just a touch off. Some of those unforced errors, and when you're playing big deficits, right, you push a little bit, looking for every opportunity you can. We've seen Greenmont a couple times be on the uh, unfortunate end of some of those. Great effort trying to fight back there in the second quarter, but it's Corner Canyon. There's just so much you have to fight against every single play, and when you're trying to climb up that hill, the deficit, just it takes so much energy to do that, and I think sometimes it's easy to, when we see teams like that, slow down you know, or, or make those mistakes. We forget about how much fatigue really does play a factor in these in these games, in these plays. Corner continuing with some other substitutions here, trying to get seniors opportunities on the field here. Brinkoviak. Geo Hollingsworth with it. Yeah, that just plays this up with Porter Wells. Jarius Checkett's another senior coming on here. He's got it now. For these seniors to be able to see the field in their final game. Sweet moment for sure. Such a cliche. Only one team finishes with a win, right, Dane? Yep. Everyone else ends in disappointment. Fleming has just come on here. You know, you talk about for Fremont, meanwhile, I only see two seniors on the roster. We talk about how young it is. Boston Reese, which he's a pivotal piece, is that shot saved by the freshman. How about Red King coming in? The freshman able to stymie a good-looking shot there by Isaacson. Carson Isaacson has not been stopped by many goalies all year. And how about the freshman wearing shorts, too? We're not doing any of this goalie sweat stuff. No, man, we're we're, a, we're one of the guys. The initiation. Yeah. Going back to Fremont, Boston Reese, obviously that's a big piece. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, unofficially 90 points on the year for, for Reese. And then Evan Clark, the long pole. He has a goal today. Both of those players with goals today. Again, I... To your point, only one team ends the season with a smile. But uh, to be able to score in a state championship is your last moment. Like, man, not a lot of players get that honor. It's true, Dane. And, and I think the biggest thing is you look at this Fremont team going forward, they're only going to get bigger, stronger, faster. And that's something you could see was a big discrepancy today. It's not just about the technique and, and the discipline. It's, it's about having that ability to recover and as soon as the – some of the deeper bench players get an opportunity to play here. Oh, how about that? Porter Wells with the find in front, and it's Jarius Checkett, one of those corner seniors who gets his moment scoring in a state championship. What a fantastic moment. You see the teammates embracing Checkett. Gets the goal. 
in a state championship game. Fantastic finish for the senior. Another fantastic finish upcoming here for Corner Canyon. Puts the lead up 19 to 5. You know, you don't see it on your screen, but as he comes off, players, coaches hugging him. You know, he has scored this season. But there are very few moments like that, right? Where it's just like, again, the 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 opportunity and the close to do it in a state championship. Very few feelings like it. Time out here. We'll step aside in the 6A state championship. 2.48 to go. It'll be Corner Canyon possession. Chargers with it. What a championship. This has been their most dominating championship. The first one against Park City. Miners really stymied that whole first half. American Fork so dominant from faceoff and possession. And the Chargers this year, it was from the get-go. A 10-1 first quarter. Set the tone early. And they have been able to handle throughout. Saw pushes from Fremont. But uh, this one has never really been in doubt as we approach the final two to play. I want to remind you, two more championships, the 4A coming up next, and then finish it off with Olympus Park City in the 5A. Tonight we'll have all three of those for you right here on kslsports.com as we wrap up our spring season. Final two to go. I was going to say, it's been a great year of lacrosse, a lot of fun. Enjoyed being on the broadcast with you. My first year calling lacrosse, and I have loved every minute of it. Maybe not quite as much as Corner Canyon's loving things right now. This feels good when you're on the winning team side, right? Yeah. The flip side of it, great to see so many different programs out here. A lot of great stories, and I think 6A is been ruled by Corner Canyon for so long. Well, and that's where I'm, I'm, I made the point because, you know, it was it was an A division when Corner played Park City and 6A last year, 6A this year. Last year it was it was Region 4, and there's still this stigma that, you know, oh, yeah, Northern Lacrosse. But Northern Lacrosse had three teams in semis this year. Like, they are building. You love to see the foundation up there, not just by Fremont, by Davis, Farmington, others. Um, and it's great to see this sport grow throughout the state, right? Yep, and, and it's a sport that can be even killed and competitive because there are a lot of opportunities to get out and play. You know, if, if you need equipment, there's almost always a stick somewhere. And I've got two in my basement right now, and I haven't been out cradling a ton with them lately, Dane, but i got that itch. I've got one in my basement as well. Just one, though. Yeah. Well, an attacker like you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Once you find your stick, why do you need a second? Deep hole like me, you've got to have both, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm teasing. Final 20 seconds here, Fran Koviak is Corner Canyon running off the final minutes. Corner Canyon will remain the only team to do it in 6A. The final countdown on. Corner Canyon, 19 to 5. They set the tone early. And often the Chargers are your 2023 state champions. As a reminder, fans, please stay off the field as we get set for the trophy presentation. Well deserved dog pile there for the Corner Canyon Chargers. What a fantastic run here through the playoffs. Throughout the season, one of the more, most dominant programs we've seen in a long time. Hats off, sticks up to them. On the opposite side, Fremont. Great fight, great determination from the Silver Wolves. Not able to hang in there throughout the course of the game. Nothing but heads high for them as they brought effort and energy to it, just not as much everything the way that Corner Canyon did, and I think that shows up a lot more on the scoreboard than it did in the actual play of the game, Dane. Uh, just hats off to both teams, but congratulations to Corner Canyon. You know, last year it was almost a sense of relief for Corner. 
all the stars and all the expectations being nationally ranked, everything else that came with last year's group. It was like a relief when they won it. This year, you see the exuberance and the jubilation. Not that it wasn't there last year, but man, this this group that didn't have all of the stars and the ratings, still had a lot of talent. You see them celebrate that moment of being able to to continue the legacy that has been Corner Canyon Lacrosse. Fantastic year capped off here for the Chargers. And we forget sometimes that these are these games are meant to be fun. Sports are fun. We saw Corner Canyon celebrating, enjoying this moment. There's so much work that goes into it. And you mentioned not as many stars in the sky, but it was a complete team effort from start to finish. And, and there are some phenomenal players that are going on and playing throughout the state, but, or, or excuse me, not throughout the state, but just throughout the country, the next level. Nevertheless, just a great, great achievement for the Chargers. And for Fremont, it's a great opportunity to build on this experience and come back next year, grow even more. We're going to take a quick break here with uh, players giving handshakes. We'll be back with the trophy presentation. Corner Canyon, your state champs. We'll be back after this. Representing the Utah High School Activities Association is John Oglesby. Welcome back. Trophy presentations. First be the Fremont Silver Wolves. Fine year. Fremont High School. For Coach Brad Cyril and Fremont. Two coaches talking there still. Oglesby presents the trophy there. Well earned. Great job by Fremont. What a tremendous season. Region 1 champs get to a state championship. The 6A Fantastic state championship year. trophy is presented to Corner Canyon High School. And your state champion chargers. Number one to start, number one to finish. Line them up outside the in and out tonight, Dane. It's going to be a party for the Chargers. Congratulations to both teams. Congratulations. Ryan, your selection of player of the game. You know, a lot of outstanding performances today. Saw some terrific goals. You see 19, so many opportunities, but really it was Porter Wells who set the tone early on, broke down that wall, it was just relentless, putting Corner Canyon ahead early and, and distancing themselves, putting Fremont into that hole. Congratulations to Porter Wells on the player of the game and on being a state champion. Porter Wells, your player of the game. Corner Canyon repeats for the third time your 6A state champion. A reminder, 4A state championship coming up in about 25 minutes. You can catch that right here on kslsports.com. For Tino Psyche, Brian Brown, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations to Fremont and Corner Canyon on fantastic years as the Chargers completed again in 23.